everybody, it's Candy. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm celebrating 30 days of being on this watermelon island, as some people call it. <laughs> it's kind of a fun term that, that we say uh, for when you are eating only one fruit for a extended period of time. We call it uh, Oh, my friend here, John, who I'm watching and getting very, oh my gosh, I, he's just so full of inspiration. He's, he's on day 126 of Mango Island, just eating nothing but mangoes and healing his body in that way. So, uh, you know, I'm just, I, I, I've, gosh, I've done this before. I've done 40 days, only one time before, but, uh, you know, this time has its challenges, <laughs> I must say. Wow, you know, day 30, it's been, um, gosh, since day 27, it's been a little challenging for me. Actually, there were a couple days before that as well, but um, I don't know, I'm just focused. I keep putting my uh, daily affirmations out there that I can do this, that I am focused and I am stronger uh, than I know and um, you know I invite all of you to, to say daily affirmations because you know we've um, gosh we've all kind of listened to what others and what society says that we should be or shouldn't be and we've built up this idea in our heads of who we are and who we you know, who we should be <laughs> in this life. And really, you know, we've got to let all that go. We, we have to start loving ourselves, looking inward at who we really are, who we were created to be, you know, where we want, where, where we want to put our attention, what we want to put our attention to, um, and things that really matter to us. So I just, uh, you know, affirmations are a great way to get the focus back on yourself. And during a fast, it's so important because you'll have all these little things in your head telling you, uh, you know, it's okay. You've done a few days of, uh, you've done really well for a few days. Go ahead, have a salad or have whatever, <laughs> whatever your little thing is. And, um, and you'll be okay. And that's not what a fast is about. A fast is about really, really getting focused and going inward. It's a spiritual practice more than it is a health practice. It's, very, it's a very good health practice, but I really must say that it's more of a spiritual practice. And for those of you who have done fasting before, um, and by the way, fasting does not mean that you're just drinking water. You know, it's not, we're not water fasting here. Fasting is basically when you have chosen to give up something and just focus. Um, in this case, we're having watermelon. We're just focusing on, on melons, basically. And so, um, you know, it has its challenges and you're going to be kind of tested throughout, throughout your journey, even if you're just doing it for a few days. And it's not that we're really being tested, it's just that what happens is whenever we go about our daily lives and we get a little bit, um, you know, stressed uh, for any reason, um, you know, we tend to choose, uh, most of us, a lot of us choose food, maybe salty foods, maybe crunchy foods, maybe extra sweet foods to um, kind of like dull that, to kind of mask what's going, what's really going on. And so when we have that like pulled out of our lives and we know we've set this time aside for just today to just focus on just watermelon, <laughs> you know, we don't have all those other foods to, to reach for when something comes up for us that, you know, a trigger, um, I mean, it can be anything. It can be, you know, you know, your kids, you know, getting a little crazy. It can be your boss um, not recognizing you for something and it makes you feel bad. It can be, you know, your husband or wife just um, not on the same page with you and uh, challenging what you're doing 
and asking why are you doing this and you know you have to stay strong you've got to really stay strong because you're doing this for yourself and so I just I wish all of you well I, I my gosh I'm just it's so exciting. We have like over 150 people doing this together with us on our Facebook page. And it's, I mean, I just had a couple people just join the group yesterday and we, well, we do still have 10 days left. Actually, I miscounted. So I put on there that the 40 days would end on September 4th and it's actually September 2nd. So when my friend Madison in a video, she was saying, isn't it September 2nd? Uh, she was absolutely right. Uh, I'm going to go till the till uh, the uh, fourth because that's what I put out there. Must I? I must have done that subconsciously for a reason. So maybe I need 42 days. Well, that's my focus. I'm going to stay in the moment, and uh, you know, take each day as it comes. And that's how I really would like for everyone to to do this. Just one day at a time. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. But, um, you know, Mr. Mango Terry and John over here, by the, by the way, he's got a great channel called The Mango Terry, and you might want to go check it out on YouTube. He's, he's just really, oh my gosh, he's so full of wisdom. I mean, the way he, he speaks and all of his insights that are happening, I mean, 126 days just on, um, on mangoes, it's amazing, it's amazing. So you might want to check out his channel and, uh, you know, just uh, see how that can maybe inspire you to stay on this watermelon fast. So let me see how we're doing time-wise here. Okay, so, you know, another thing I'm practicing is, um, is dry fasting. And if you're in our group, I kind of posted a little bit about that. Um, during the, moon, the solar eclipse, I did a 40-hour dry fast. Now, a dry fast, you know, it may sound a little extreme, and it sort of is, <laughs> but I have been practicing this for over a year now. I started doing this when my brother came to um, get some health coaching from me last year, the rock star, if any of you tuned into that. And so uh, we, we had started practicing 12-hour dry fasting. And so what that looks like is you stop eating and drinking somewhere, you know, 6, 7 p.m. And then you pick back up in the morning at 6 or 7 p.m. And then you just practice 12 hours. I mean, you're sleeping most of those hours, so it's not really that big of a, you know, stretch for most of us. So... So I've been practicing that for, uh, like I said, almost a year. It's, uh, it gives your body a total rest from any type of digestion at all, you know. It, and it gives that energy that your body can utilize that energy to heal whatever needs to be healed in your body. And so it's really a great practice. And uh, so I did, I, and I have done several um you know, 24 hour dry fast and 36, 38 hours. I'd never, I don't think I'd ever gone 40 and I thought, well, that would be so cool. Let me just, I'm always trying to, you know, kind of go to the next level. So I thought, you know what, let me do 40, 40 hours. I hope I was saying hours, not days. <laughs> so I did 40 hours and, um, you know, I really, it was easier than I thought it was going to be because it's been a while since I've done, uh, you know, several hours, but I do keep up with at least 12 hours every single uh, day. So anyway, you know, some of you might want to try that. You know, it helps with uh, getting your kidneys filtering, which is really important, especially those of you that are wanting to detoxify your bodies and not break out on your skin. And the reason we break out on our skin is because our kidneys are not filtering. And so a good way to kind of like break through that is to practice dry fasting. And of course the fruits are gonna help. And you know, apple cider vinegar is another thing to like get your lymph system moving. And uh, you know, there's so many things out there. And I know this is a beginner's channel, so I don't wanna overwhelm you, but um, I just want to say kudos to everybody who is giving this a try, who's done it for one day or more. It's, uh, 
it's just so, it's such a beautiful thing to really just focus on yourself and and um, thank you for being on this um, this journey. It's a process, but uh, you know, we're doing it. My mom is actually just six days behind me. She's doing awesome. She does, um, she has been doing a, a cooked meal of, um, she's on this kick every Saturday night of making, uh, she makes her own spring rolls and they're all veggie. They're all veggie. So that's kind of what helps keep her going. And you know what, that's awesome. You know, so I'm on day 40. So she's on day, I mean, no, I'm on day 30. So she's on day 24. <laughs> I mean, wow, that's awesome. It's just incredible. And so that's, I'm so proud of you, mom. And thank you for supporting me in this way. It really makes me feel good. And um, it's nice to know you're getting yourself healthy in the process. So I think with that, I'm going to say bye for now. And thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of your support and the likes that you've given me in the comments. And, and you know, and if you want to share my videos with others who might um, find this inspirational, I'd, I'd love that. Thank you so much. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And Mwah. <laughs> I love you all. See you next time. Take care.